eWeb held a grand opening event for our emergency water station near the Sheldon Fire Station Saturday, September 10th. The site would supply drinking water for the neighborhood in the event of a catastrophic earthquake or other disaster that cut off water to customers. Neighbors gathered in the parking lot of the Sheldon Community Center under ashy skies. The Cedar Creek Fire had prompted evacuations for residents of nearby Oak Ridge and Westfer, and our region was under a red flag warning for fire danger. We're putting these in all around town. Uh, there's several in this area. We're, we've got several more going in south. EWEB Commissioner John Brown kicked off the event, inviting residents to pick up a free three-gallon container and test out the water station. Uh, we're trying to be as prepared as we can, so pay attention. Thank you very much, and please spread the word to others where these are located and how they work. This is the fifth emergency water station EWEB has set up in Eugene. The taps, fed by deep wells, can provide water daily to 29,000 customers if a disaster were to disrupt eWeb's ability to distribute drinking water. Eugene City Councilor Jennifer Ye said she's glad the city is partnering with eWeb to provide this service. So we need to be prepared for the fact that people are going to need water in an emergency immediately. Having this resource here for the people who immediately need it and for a longer term emergency is really vital. Gay noted it's National Preparedness Month, and she hoped this event inspired people to take small steps to be prepared for an emergency. The project is also in partnership with Eugene Springfield CERT, which would assist in setting up the stations in an emergency event. Oops. Ibrahim Koulibaly lives nearby. He brought his daughter and they filled up a jug at the tap. So I wanted my daughter to know that water is very important. Um, we have to save water. I grew up in Africa in the country where, you know, people had to go get the water and had to walk miles to get water. Koulibaly said safe drinking water is becoming more scarce in some parts of the United States where they're dealing with drought and other issues. Coming here, is also um, like a reminder that uh, while we may take it for granted, um, it's not necessarily something that may be uh, uh, around for a while, so we need to take care of it. Bruce and Angie Dean also live in the neighborhood. We're concerned about the emer emergencies, and we would like to know what to do in, when one happens. So we thought we'd come over here and find out. Another neighbor asked eWeb water engineer Nathan Endicott what situation might prompt us to set up the emergency water station. So if we were experiencing an earthquake that is anticipated for the Pacific Northwest, we potentially would have every pipe break in our system. So eWeb would be out repairing all the mains, while this site is very easy to assemble and is designed that every person in this surrounding area could come and get two gallons per day. And that's per person. Yep, two gallons per person per day. Endicott also explained how to disinfect the water. The measure is necessary because in an emergency, there won't be time to do the testing and treatment needed to guard against possible contamination. So for this one, this, this is a clean container. You got it here. Um, and then so you would uh, put water in this. Is there any water in there? There's a little bit of water. A little bit? Yeah. Um, almost a gallon. So for a gallon of water, I would add an eighth teaspoon. Okay. So right here is an eighth. And, and that's I, just bleach? Regular, regular bleach? household bleach, okay. not scented, nothing added. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be able to disinfect your water. Okay. EWeb is planning two additional emergency water stations near Churchill High School and near Roosevelt Middle School. To prepare for any emergency, experts recommend residents store 14 gallons of water per person in your household. Learn more at eweb.org slash emergency prep. I'm Rachel McDonald with eWeb.